Russia is one step closer to arming the world's largest submarine with the world's deadliest torpedoes. At least according to Russian state media, it is. This week, Russia's TASS news agency reported the country completed the first batch of Poseidon nuclear-capable torpedoes for its Belgorod nuclear-powered submarine. Launched in 2019, the Belgorod is 583 feet long, 50 feet wide, and weighs around 30,000 tons. It can also carry up to six 80-foot-long Poseidon torpedoes, which are fast and highly maneuverable. Russia says the nuclear-powered Poseidon has a virtually unlimited range, can be controlled remotely, and can carry a 2-megaton thermonuclear warhead. Russia claims the Poseidon can also move as fast as 80 knots underwater. If true, that means there is currently no known defense against it. With missile defenses increasing, Russia said it needed an alternate way to strike U.S. cities and installations with nuclear weapons. A submarine armed with essentially nuclear drones gives Russia that ability. It can strike along the coast or detonate further at sea, creating a tsunami filled with nuclear material. The first public report of the weapon system dates back to September 2015, and the details are genuinely insane. It's a weapon so powerful it seems like it should belong in a bad science fiction movie, and yet it's apparently quite real. Poseidon is an unmanned drone in the shape of a torpedo that can be loaded onto and launched by a submarine. A Poseidon drone could also remain dormant in a box on the ocean floor, just waiting for a signal to come back to life before carrying out its apocalyptic attack, like a reaper from Mass Effect. Either way, once a Poseidon is armed and activated, it can have a range of 10,000 kilometers, and it slowly travels across the ocean ominously towards its target over a period of weeks or even months. The drone travels so slowly in order to avoid detection. But when it's nearby an enemy coastline, it rushes ahead at over 100 miles per hour to get close enough to detonate its nuclear bomb before it's detected. The bomb that the Poseidon drone carries is allegedly the most powerful nuclear device ever created, capable of unleashing a completely insane 200 megatons of explosive power and all of it underwater. For reference as to why that's insane, the biggest bomb ever tested by humanity so far was the Tsar Bomba by the Soviet Union. That bomb destroyed every building in a 55 kilometer radius, caused third degree burns 100 kilometers away, and shattered windows that were 900 kilometers away. It was detonated here in Novaya Zemlya and shattered windows all the way over here in northern Norway and Finland. The shock wave from the explosion circled the entire Earth three times, and despite all of that awesome power, it was only 50 megatons. The Poseidon bomb has four times that amount of power. Unleashing that amount of raw power underwater is allegedly enough to generate a 500 meter high tsunami wave in the direction of an enemy's coastline. What's even worse though is the Poseidon nuclear bomb is apparently a cobalt bomb specifically designed to unleash more radioactive fallout than a normal nuclear bomb. This not only makes the wave freakishly huge, but also intensely radioactively contaminated. The weapon is apparently specifically designed to circumvent the capable US and European missile defense systems. If nuclear missiles are heading towards your country, you can at least try and shoot some of them down before they make an impact and you have a chance. But what chance do you have at stopping a 500 meter high mega tsunami? Once the bomb has gone off underwater, it's already pretty much too late. The tsunami is going to happen. 500 meter high tsunami would be taller than every single building in New York except for the One World Trade Center, and it would still be very close. Everything in the city would be destroyed, and the highly radioactive water would linger around and poison the ground and the drinking supply. It would be absolutely catastrophic, and the Russian Navy has allegedly already ordered 30 Poseidon armed drones to enter into service, with half of them going to the Northern Fleet in the Arctic Ocean and the other half going to the Pacific Fleet based in Vladivostok. They are to be used only as a last-ditch effort when all other hope for Russia during a war seems lost. One last thing to mention along those lines, Dmitry Medvedev, he's in the news once again, the former Russian president, very close ally of Vladimir Putin today, said that if Russia were to lose its conventional war in Ukraine, he said, look, 
a nuclear power has never lost a war. So if we were to, or if we were on the verge of losing in Ukraine in a conventional sense, then that could very well lead to nuclear war. Meaning we're not going down, we're not going to go down lying down, Medvedev is saying. We're going to go out in a blaze uh, and it could very well be a nuclear blaze. Not sensationalism, not alarmism. I'm just repeating what Russian leaders are saying. Dmitry Medvedev sits on the Russian National Security Council. He's very close to Vladimir Putin. He's been waving or rattling the nuclear saber for months now, folks. And uh, I don't think it's a bluff. I believe if Russia was really, I mean really on the ropes and it looked like things were really, there was no chance of them winning this thing, uh, then a tactical nuclear weapon, I think these things are on the table, I'm sad to say. Western leaders who think it's all just a bluff and bluster, I think they should take the Russian regime very seriously right now.